They thought it was just an ordinary teen bedroom. Little did they expect the horrors that lurked in the deep dark corners. It was only when an unsuspecting mother came in to empty the bin, the true horror of what lurked within was suddenly revealed. Bin Bon Monster. I got ya. <laughs> Good, isn't he? And he really looks as if he's clawing his way out of your waste paper bin. And he's so simple to make in four easy parts. A four-part attack. Now, first you need to prepare your bin because this is going to get messy. Just put a bag inside your waste paper basket and hold it in position with a couple of bits of tape. It's also probably best to put some newspaper down too. So now you're ready to make your monster. And to do this, you're going to need some newspaper. Just start by scrunching up a ball of newspaper about the size of a small apple. And this will be for your monster's head. Then scrunch up a sort of, well, it's a pear shape, isn't it? For a kind of body and tape them together. Now, I've already used lots of tape on these shapes to keep them in shape. And when you've taped them together, make three sausages for fingers and tape them together for a claw. Again, plenty of tape on there. And make two claws in this way. Then position them on the side of your monster's body. So one up there by a sort of shoulder and tape it on. And then the other one on the other side. And make sure those fingers are nice and curled into a sort of reaching out, grabbing monster position. So, that's your basic bin bog monster. And your monster should now balance happily on the edge of your bin. Now, he doesn't look very slimy at the moment, does he? So now you need to make the mixture that makes his gooey skin. OK, to get slimy, mix together one part water and then three parts sand, so that's one two, three parts sand, and one part PVA glue. I'll just put them all in a beaker to measure them here. Now, the whole thing needs to be a thick but runny consistency. So stir the whole thing up. And don't forget, it's a good idea to put some newspaper down for this. And the idea is to spoon some of the mixture into a plastic bag. Now, you may need to get someone to help you with this. It can be a bit tricky. Pick the bag up and just squeeze it all down into one corner. Then very carefully snip off one corner to make a sort of piping bag. Not too much, just the end. And then the idea is to drip the mixture all over your monster to give a gooey, slimy effect. Now, keep it moving to make a sort of worm cast effect like this. You know how you see on the beach those worm casts, see that? Now you have to do a section at a time and wait a while for it to set before adding more. This is because if it gets too heavy, the sand might just slip off. And you can build up blobs for the eyes and also for a bottom lip. And when you've covered the whole monster, leave him to dry overnight and it looks something like this. And when you've peeled him away from the bag, He's gone rock hard, and he's now ready to paint. Paint your monster a nice slime green. Just slop it on all over. And you can streak in darker and lighter shades. You could even add in some yellow, just to pick out some highlights and streaks. And then use a thin brush and add on some eyes. And when you finish painting him and he's dry, brush on a layer of PVA glue because when that dries, the glue goes clear and shiny and really adds to the slimy effect. And when you've made him, hook him over the side of your waste paper bin and he looks as if he's crawling out of the deep, dark depths of your bin. <laughs> In fact, you never know what other horrible, smelly places they can crawl out of. Like, your laundry basket, feeding on the horrors that lurk within, uh, 
or even tiny ones crawling out of your smelly old trainer. Nasty, but cute. <laughs> Try it yourself, bimbog monsters.